Hello guys, it's your boy Edgy Machine here, and today we're going to be going over the best Y loadout for around $100. If you want to keep updated about skins and all the other stuff, make sure to join my Discord and also follow me on Twitter. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Today's video is sponsored by CollectSkins.com um, If you're looking for free skins, this is the site to go You can just spend some time doing surveys, downloading and playing apps or even just watch videos And in exchange, you'll get your coins converted into skins and it's totally free for everyone So yeah, if you want to go ahead and check that website out, it's linked in the description below And now let's have fun with the video Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notifications whenever I upload a video Thanks Starting this list off, we have the Glock 18 Waste and Rebel, and in fantastic condition you can get it for $5.79. Please remember that all these prices are not from the Steam market, they are from bitskins.com, which is a third party option to buy skins. If you want to know how all that stuff works, I'll link your tutorial below. On the CT side we have the USPS Rope Rush and in Battle Scar condition you can get it for $8.18. It's a very nice looking skin in my opinion and Battle Scar won't even matter too much because it's called Rope Rush. So yeah, that way you can have yourself a nice white USPS skin. For the P2000 I've chosen the silver skin. In a factory new condition, you can get this skin for $1.51. Next up we have the dual Beretta Stained, and in minimal air condition, you can get these for only 5 cents. For the P250 we have the classic whiteout and in field tested condition you can get this skin for $2.07. Jesus what's happening to my voice. <clears throat> If you'd like to play the Tech 9, then for this skin's loadout, you have two options. Either you type the Tech 9 Bamboo for 44 cents in factory new condition, or the hardest in factory new condition for $1.88. In the end, it's your opinion and your choice. CT start we have the 5.7 Kami, um, in fact in your condition you can get this nice looking skin for 55 cents and it perfectly fits today's loadout. If however you don't play the Tech 9 or the 5.7 you can also take the ZZ Tuxedo and in fact in your condition you can get it for 37 cents. Or if you don't like that skin too much, you can also take the ZZ Twist for 95 cents. In fact, you're in new condition. For the Desert Eagle, it was kind of hard to find a cheap skin that fits the loadout, but because we have a lot of budget today, because the skins are generally quite cheap, I was able to fit the Desert Eagle Mecha Industries in there. And in minimal wear condition, you can get the skin for $4.49, and in my opinion, that's a very nice looking Desert Eagle. I don't know if anyone is still playing the revolver, but in case you are that weirdo, well, you can buy the grip. It costs 30 cents in factory new condition, but really, it, it, what are you doing? Now coming to the most interesting part for most of you guys, which are the rifles. Starting off we have the Farmers Market Industries and in field tested condition you can get the skin for only $1.78. 
On the T-Sart we have the Galil Echo and in field testing condition you can get it for around the same price, two cents more expensive, one dollar and eighty cents. Now for the AK it was kind of hard to find a good looking skin that is also cheap at the same time but I decided I'll take the AK-47 front sight fisty because it only costs $10.33 in field testing condition and it's still nice looking so yeah if you want to have a nice looking rifle that fits out today's loadout go with this one. On the CT side we have the M4A for Magnesium and it's actually a very nice looking skin also if you want to combine it with some stickers it's very nice looking and in factory new condition it only costs $2.23. If however you don't want to learn the spray control, you're probably going to play the M4A1S and in that case I have the Mecha Industry skin for you. It's a bit more expensive and if you test the condition you can get it for $9.74 but don't worry the price overall will make not much of a difference and you'll still be within the $100 limit. For the Scout, I've also chosen a nice skin, which is the Ghost Crusader. And if you does the condition, you can get the skin for 63 cents. And yeah, there's not much more to say about it. The newly found AK, which is the SG-503, we also have a skin for that. It's not completely wide uh, but I couldn't find anything better so I've chosen the Damascus steel and if field tested you can get it for 15 cents so it might be a nice deal. On the CG site we have the AUG Torque. It's a pretty common skin and in minimal wear condition you can get it for $1.42 and it's actually quite nice looking. It's a very old skin but it still fits our today's loadout. For one of the most liked weapons in Silver 1 we have the 8WP Warm Guard. I know it's not the best AWP skin but it's pretty much the only white affordable one and in factory new you can get it for $1.65. For the auto noobs, we have the SCAR 20 Palm, and in well worn condition, you can get it for $1.99. And on the CG side, we have the GS3 Polar Camo for $0.02 cents in minimal wear condition. Coming to the SMGs, we have the MP9 Airlock, and in minimal wear condition, you can get this skin for $1.46. It totally fits the loadout, and yeah, not much more to say about it. On the T-Sart, we have the Mac 10 Whitefish. Now, I know it has a black background, but still, this is the best skin I could find for the Mac 10. So, you just gotta go with it if you wanna have it fit into the loadout. Um, it costs 38 cents in fact in your condition, so yeah. If you decide to play the MP7, then you can choose the silver skin. In fact, in your condition, you can get it for only 6 cents. If however you're an MP5 buyer, I've got to be sorry for you because there's just no skins out for this gun yet and there's also not a white skin for it so I've just not chosen anything for this spot so just put in whatever you want to. 
Next up, we have a pretty nice skin, which is the UMP45 Arctic Wolf. It's pretty new, and it's also very nice looking. And in field testing condition, you can get the skin for only 32 cents. So, yeah, that was my choice for this slot. <laughs> Next up, we have the Russian's favorite weapon and also the Russian's favorite skin, which is the P90 Asimov. And in well worn condition, you can get it for $4.71. And yeah, it fits quite well, and it's also a nice, nice looking skin. Next off, we have the water gun, and for the water gun, I've chosen a skin that nobody has really seen. It's the facility sketch, and I've not, I, ca I cannot say that I've seen this skin in matchmaking before. And in fact, you knew it only cost three cents, so yeah, quite the lucky find, I guess. Coming through the heavy category, we have the Nova Rising Skull in factory new condition for one dollar and fifty-seven cents. This skin is very nice looking and you don't often see good looking Nova skin, so if you want to have this skin, um, go for it. Next up we have the XM1014 Scumbria and in field test condition you can get this skin for 6 cents. I know it's not the best looking skin, it doesn't really fit the loadout but I couldn't find any better skin that fits it so I just decided to take this because it's very bright so it's kind of white but it's not really white but I couldn't find a better skin. Next off is a weapon that nobody really uses anymore, and it's the sort of sage spray. Um, it's kind of cool looking, and it costs 52 cents in factory new. So go for it if you want to have this skin. The Mech 7 Firestarter also fits today's loadout, and it's not even that bad looking. In minimal wear condition, you can get it for 36 cents, so it's quite a cheap and good looking Mech 7 skin. most useless weapon is the M249, but if you still want to have a skin for it fitting this loadout, you should go with the Spectra, and in fuel testing condition you can get it for 7 cents. For the Nagaf I chose the Dezel skin, and in minimal air condition you can get it for 70 cents. There's not really much to say about it, because who the fuck still plays a Nagaf? Now the missing item to your complete loadout is of course the knife, so you're probably going to wonder what can I fit in here. Well because knife prices have gone up recently because of the Chinese market, it's quite hard to find cheap good looking knives that actually fit the loadout. And in today's loadout we have the Shadow Dagger stained in well worn condition for $48.95. These Shadow Daggers are, with good shader settings, actually white because of like the sunshine and stuff and yeah if you want to get a full loadout completed loadout go for the shadow dagger stained and you'll be looking fine as fuck that finishes up by our today's $100 loadout in white and if you have any more suggestions what I should do next, leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I love you guys. See you later. Bye. In the car alone at night, driving home the highway lights, strobing by, windows roll down ice, cold wind blowing, bro and I don't really know where I'm going up in this lonely life, there's so much I don't really know what's like, I'm floating in a boat and the tide is rolling by, surely but slowly and I'm hoping my rowing will override, but knowing this road